In this video, we get to painting. Welcome back to our series where we teach you how to paint. Today we'll be jumping into the studio to demonstrate our first lesson. Our goal is to help you progress as a painter whether you're starting at a blank canvas or brushing up on the skills you've already learned. Before we begin, we need to have a quick heart to heart and lay down the golden rules of painting, which as it turns out are only one. Don't ever refer to your art as a masterpiece. It immediately makes you sound lame. For the first fundamental element of art, we're going to teach you value. What is value? We're not talking monetary value, nor the importance or usefulness of something, or a person's judgment in what is important in life, such as corn dog socks. We want to think of value as a spectrum of light to dark, whether it's a grayscale or a monochromatic scale. Learning value is essential because it trains your eyes to be sensitive to the entire range of lights and darks you will experience when creating your compositions. When you want to create a painting with a three-dimensional depth, value is one of the elements that will help you achieve that. Now let's get to painting with our first exercise, creating a value scale. Our goal of this exercise is to create 10 equal value steps ranging from white directly out of the tube to black straight out of the tube so that we can start understanding how to create value. For this demo, you will need your paper, one small brush, your palette knife, a cup of water if you're using acrylics, or your dropper filled with paint thinner if you're painting in oils, and your palette. On your paper, draw a 2 inch by 15 inch rectangle and then divide it into 10 equal sections. Each section should be 1.5 inches in width. It's painting time! Using your black and white paints, we're going to have you start by squeezing out some of each onto your palette. You'll need a bigger puddle of white than black, as black has a stronger shading power, meaning a little bit goes a long way. Next, we are going to mix out the 10 value steps on the palette before applying the paint to the paper. As a beginner, it's best to mix out the color and value you need on your palette first, instead of mixing directly on the paper or canvas. This helps you avoid muddying your paints. It's a strong habit to build when you're first starting. Using your palette knife, take a blob of white paint from the puddle. Start by adding a little bit of black at a time until you achieve your desired value. The first value we want to mix is our middle gray, a value that visually appears like a value between our purest white and our purest black. Next, we're going to mix out the middle values between the pure white and the middle gray and the pure black and the middle gray. We will continue mixing the in-between values to complete this exercise. When mixing, be sure to mix dark into light and not light into dark. It's worth repeating that the color black has a strong shading power, so start by mixing a little bit into your white at a time. Also, you'll find it easier to darken lighter values than to lighten darker values. It will help you save a lot of paint and money. Once you've mixed out your eight steps between white and black, stand back and assess if there was an even transition between the values. If you feel like it's difficult to see the changes in the darker values, that's totally normal. Remember, an important part of learning how to paint is training our eyes. Now repeat the process, but instead of black, use your blue paint as a substitute. Your darkest value of blue is going to be right out of the two. Once you've mixed out all 10 steps, hopefully you'll notice that the value spectrum of your blue chart will be lighter than the black and white one. Once again, this is about training your eyes. Now load up your brush with paint and fill in one value box at a time, cleaning your brush between each value square. We recommend starting with your lighter values and working toward the darker values. Once you've filled out both charts, you should now be able to identify where your strengths and weaknesses are with lights and darks. If a value or two look almost identical to each other, you're running into a very common issue, so don't feel like you can't go back and fix them. 
However, if your black and white scale and your blue and white scale are perfect, then why are you even watching us? You're great. Please continue watching us. We need the views. Now for our segment. Art Soul. Hey there, and welcome to Art Soul. I'm your host, Polo, and today we are going to solve the world's problems. Or maybe we'll just talk about value, value and contrast. So as you learned in the episode, value is a spectrum from light to dark. That helps us build contrast, which is really just a way of saying comparing opposites. And today we're comparing the opposites of light and dark. Brett, would you like to go in a little more about how you use value and contrast in your work? So when I'm working on a painting, I try and focus on what I call visual dynamics. And essentially I have a checklist and of things I like to make sure are in my paintings. And contrast is one of them. And I like a very stark contrast, light and dark. I, I find it really adds to the, the visual intensity of the work. It emphasizes the busyness of the work, which is something I like to see in my paintings. And it lends itself to a more illustrative style, a more comic book style, which a lot of my work and images kind of have developed into. Um, so for me, it's a, it's a very powerful tool to, to capture what I want to see in a painting. Definitely. And I think it's one of those tools that really adds interest without adding too much else to worry about. We know we're just worried about comparing these two opposites. Um, Mustafa, go ahead and tell us about your process and how value is involved there. Yeah, gladly. So uh, part of my process um, is photographing the work. Staging is a huge element of my practice when it comes to painting. This involves using lighting in a way where I manipulate value to create contrast where I want it. And for a painting like this portrait, you can see the range from light to dark, which helps sculpt the face. Um, this is just a really important thing to learn how to develop, to be able to establish that space. Sculpting a face helps kind of see the like your nose all the way back to your ear. You gotta be able to see each plane um, moving front to back. <laughs> front to back, yeah, that makes sense. Definitely value um, value helps build that three-dimensional quality in just like the still life, um, when you make a still life, or any of the paintings that you do. Which uh, we will teach you. Which is next, yes. Brett, go ahead, you were um, about to say something that I interrupted you. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, um, Mustafa brings up an interesting kind of point about process where he, you know, he likes to stage and manipulate what he's going to paint ahead of time. And I guess to give another example of how to work, you know, I'm much more improvisational. So as I'm working, I am adjusting values as I go. You know, I, I don't have a, a set idea, I kind of respond to how the, the painting's looking. If an area needs to be darkened, I'll do that in the painting. Uh, if I need to pull out some more lights, I'll do that right up front. So two different ways of working, um, but both are equally effective. Definitely having that critical eye is important in any artwork. Um, well, thank you for joining us on this value chat for Art Soul. Uh, if you don't mind, can you hit the like, subscribe, and bell buttons so that um, we don't go poor. We're already poor. We're already poor. Okay, so we don't go poorer. <laughs> Thanks, guys. For this demo, you'll need your painting support either. That's not, that's not where I'm at. <laughs> when mixing, be sure to mix dark into light and not light into dark. It's worth repeating that the color black is a strong shading powder. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth repeating that the color black is a strong shading powder. I <laughs> <laughs>